Hey folks, welcome back. Today I want to talk about the EQ Plus and the problems surrounding the EQ. So uh, for me personally, it's not a big problem. Usually when I don't like the behavior or the sound of a device, I just don't use it or use something else and I just move on with my life basically. Uh, for some people, it's more important that Bitwig and the EQs work correctly in every case. And they tell you in the forums or on Discord, right? They talk about it and they say, oh, don't use the EQ+, Plus. It, it doesn't work correctly. So I want to put out a video and show you what the problem is and how you can circumvent it and uh, what what actually the fuss is about, right? So the EQ+, Plus here, you can see in the background, this is how it looks like. We also have here the EQ5. Um, can I... Yeah, so the EQ5, this is the old one we had, and you can still use that, and I still use it. Um, so I want to show you what the problem here is with the EQ+. Plus. So I use the EQ Curve Analyzer, and you just duplicate this here. It's a bit smaller. And you can see here the frequency response of the EQ+, Plus by default, is... Pretty flat. We can also enable here the phase shift. And you can see there's here something happening at the top end. Um, there's a phase shift. So here's a slight positive phase shift and then there goes down here to a negative full uh, 90 degree phase shift or 180 degree phase shift. Um, but it's very top end. It's basically here at, what do we look at here, 90, 20k, uh, 20k kilohertz right so it's pretty top end okay so this is actually not a problem because the frequency response is pretty flat we can insert here some bands you can see frequency response changes and also we have here then a slight uh, phase offset which is a normal behavior for an eq we can disable here eq plus and just use eq5 you can see the frequency response is also pretty flat and also there's no phase shift here we bring in here some bands, also see the normal behavior. It's also a nice amount knob here, which I really like on this EQ, EQ5. So um, no phase shift here, but in EQ Plus we have a phase shift. Slightly. So I would say this is not a problem if you just use the EQ Plus normally in a chain with no parallel processing, you're pretty good, okay? Nothing, no problem. The problems arise when you use the EQ Plus in parallel, which means you put this here into, let's say, an FX layer. We have one layer of EQ Plus, and then you use the mix knob. You bring in the dry signal, right? The dry signal that not goes through the EQ Plus. So we bring this down. You can see we have then here a frequency cut or a notch if we go to 50%, yeah, we have basically a complete notch. Maybe you can increase here. This goes down to minus 37 dB at 80 kilohertz. So there, you get the cut there. And you can argue, I don't want to justify this behavior in any way. I just say you can argue you want to cut this top end anyway at the master, right? At the mastering stage. So, and also most sounds don't go up this high, to this level. But you need to be aware that there is something up there, right? So if you use the EQ Plus in parallel, you get kind of... Or if you use it in parallel with something else that doesn't introduce the latency here, um, then you run into a notch or you create a notch at the top. If we use two EQ plus in parallel, you basically have the same kind of uh, latency here, right? So we don't have a problem. So parallel processing to EQ plus in, in parallel, it's not a problem because you have the same latency. But as soon as you introduce here something else in the second layer, let's say a tool device or maybe another different EQ with different latency, um, you have the same problem. Um, tool device. We can probably 
Um, let's say time shift. I haven't tried this before. You can change the behavior by time shifting um, the second layer by a certain by just one sample. You can you know ease this out, but you can see the problem there, right? So EQ plus just using it once on a track in in full, not in parallel. No problem. If you use it in parallel with the same EQ plus, also not a problem. If you use it in parallel with something else, problem. You get a cut here, but it's also not a problem if you don't have here at the top some kind of audio content. Then it's also okay, I would say. Um, another problem is that when you use the EQ plus in serial, so we have just one EQ plus here, right? But then we say let's duplicate this here. We have two in a in a row, so in serial, one after the other. You can see the phase shift adds up. So we can kind of create here like an Alpass filter, right? So we have multiple EQ pluses here in a row. Let's put them actually into also an FX layer here. Just duplicate this here. So we introduce more and more phase offset here. And then you mix it with a dry signal. And you can see you create nice notch filters here. So you can misuse this for some sound experiments if you want to, but we also have an Alpass filter in the grid, so you can just use that. But here you can see how this behaves in in serial and parallel. Okay, so let's kill here the EQ plus for a moment and just use EQ5. Suggest. Um, so here we have no phase shift. We also have a flat frequency response. We can use multiple EQ5s in parallel. You can see nothing adds up. We can also use the EQ5 in parallel here. Right, mix in the dry signal 50%, nothing changes. The EQ5 behaves better in these regards. And this brings me to another point I made in an earlier video, the duality of Bitwig Studio. We have basically multiple devices that kind of do the same thing, but they one have a certain type of feature set and the other has also a certain type of feature set and they never overlap in, in, at a certain point. So let's say you want to use an EQ plus, right? And you want to use it in parallel and you run into a problem, then you say maybe, okay, let's use the EQ5 instead. But then you use EQ5, but you don't have the features of EQ plus, which is here. Um, I think we have also your tilt setting. There's no tilt setting, so we lose the tilt setting and also the reference thing here, and also the behavior of this, right? Uh, and there's also here a global amount knob, which kind of mixes the dry and the wet signal. I think it's just applying here the, um, the gain, or it changes the gain of each of these bands differently. So a global gain knob here, gain amount. Um, so this is also not in here. Right, so you have a feature set here and a feature set here, and then you need to decide between the two devices. But if you have a certain situation where you need actually both, um, then you have a problem because you can't either use this one or this one, and then you grab a VST. So I have no problem or uh, no idea why why this is in the EQ plus. Maybe it's uh, by design. Maybe this is intentional. But I don't think so. So why or why is it not fixed? And uh, so I don't get why why we have this problem at all. So this is this is my <laughs> this is my stance. Um, so in terms of how I behave or how I use it, I just use EQ five most of the times, and um, sometimes I use EQ plus when I know exactly. I just don't use it in parallel. Um, then I just use EQ plus. But you need to know it. You need to know the behavior and you also can hear it. And if you use it parallel and you have frequencies here at the top, you can hear the notch, right? So um, 
maybe they can fix this hopefully in some of the upcoming versions i don't see why this is a problem at all um i have no idea oh, but maybe it's intentional and i i have no idea um about the design but it's in there and i want to make a video about it highlight this problem maybe it gets fixed maybe i get an explanation why it's in there maybe it's intentional like i said um it's also um maybe nice for certain people to know what actually the problem is and how to circumvent it and that they can use also eq5 instead of the eq plus uh, but like i said if you just normally use eq plus in normal not in parallel it's it's not a big problem actually um but there's also no reason why this is in there so i don't know so i want to highlight this problem um and show you this and also maybe give you some ideas how you can use this in a creative ways but i guess they fixed this at some point but it's also in there for multiple years now um i don't know when the eq plus was introduced two years three years ago i have no idea so yeah i just want to highlight this maybe leave me some comments um tell me maybe i'm completely wrong or what you think about it uh maybe some dsp pros can explain to me why this why this is, is intentional i have no idea i just want to make a video about it let me know also let me um leave me a thumbs up if you want to subscribe to the channel and i see you in the next video i have something planned for this week something cool and uh yeah see you next time bye